time may be ticking for TikTok. I've been waiting all morning to say that. <laughs> <laughs> As the company says, the U.S. is threatening to ban the app in the country. And for more on what's leading up to the threat and what it means to the services over 100 million U.S. users, we're joined now by tech expert Ryan Ozawa. He's the Pacific editor for Decrypt. Good to see you. Great to be back. You know, President Trump tried to do this during his term. That's right. Interesting to note that Joe Biden's on it now. So Yeah, what do you well, think? I think very recently the mysterious appearance of balloons in the skies over the United States <laughs> probably might have resurfaced a lot of concerns about Chinese technology. Okay, so let's jump into this. How much of a concern is TikTok to national security? Well, you know, some countries have banned it in government facilities and such. The United States already has done that. Um, and I think the basic concerns are valid in the sense that, yes, they can access aggregate amount, if, if they could access aggregate amount of data, they could understand more about Americans' movements, their affinities and connections with each other, um, and if they control the knobs of the magical algorithm that everybody wants to get their hands on, because TikTok has the best algorithm, um, they could be moving in advantage of propaganda in favor of Chinese policies, for example. But one of the things that I always like to remind people is that it's not that American companies are completely crystal clear and pristine on this matter either. And if you're going to be this concerned about TikTok, a significant number of those concerns are also valid for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So um, you need to be even-handed, I think, about that. But now they have this investigation from the uh, Department of Justice and the FBI uh, journalists being spied on. Well, that was uh, four employees, two in the U.S., two in China for TikTok, and they found it internally and disclosed it. Um, because, and they specifically said, this is going to be so damaging for us. I can't believe that this is happening because actually that happened during their ongoing campaign to do Project Texas, which is their $1.5 billion program to isolate U.S. data where even if China wanted to get their hands on it, they couldn't. But in the wake of all of that conversation, that still happened. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, yes, it did damage their reputation. So as we're sitting here as a tech expert, what is the, give me the things that you want people to know about this whole TikTok controversy? I think that if you're gonna ban TikTok or in your own life kind of ex exclude it, then you should be looking at all of the other apps, including American ones. I think that the use of your personal data is dangerous uh, much more likely to be an issue than perhaps a Chinese spy agency's interest in your dancing capability. Um, on the other hand, I think that um, the idea that Biden is advancing where they should sell their sh share or even um, just ban it completely is not going to stop it because, I mean, kids know how to get online to access anime and cartoons they're not supposed to watch. Kids can get around technology better than we can. Right. Um, so I think that the solution is more reasonable than something that is uh, broad, like an outright ban or sale. I think it's notable that we're having the conversations because I think before, um, when you talk to military officials, this is like the number one uh, security issue, the issue with the Chinese Communist Party. Well, it's the same thing when, you know, don't post to Instagram where you could geolocate where our base is in this forward place. I think the the real f uh, fear for me is, or for a lot of these companies, that, that TikTok is ascendant. It's rising. You said 100 million U.S. users, 1 billion uh, monthly users. They're still a third of Facebook, but they're rising while others are falling. And I think that it might seem... Uh, a little telling to the younger generation that loves TikTok that maybe they're just trying to take away our fun. And I don't think you want to get on the wrong side of the young generation. Okay, <laughs> Ryan, not. I think we'll, this is an expanded conversation that I think we're going to continue to be having. Absolutely. If you want to watch this interview again, you can always go to our website at hawaiinewsnow.com. We'll post it right after sunrise. And that's why I'm not on TikTok. Right. Ryan, thank you very much for being with us. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan.